Did Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln know each other? Both men were born into poverty, both self-educated, with one important difference. Frederick Douglass was born a slave. The opinion was also whispered that my master was my father. I honestly think it's something that's groundbreaking. Let me say that I think I have no prejudice against the Southern people. They are just what we would have been in their situation. I always feel the comfort that I've got the power of his words. A house divided against itself cannot stand. Those who enslave, those who rob and torment their cooks may well expect to find death in their dinner pots. How did these two men who were ideologically apart, how were they able to come together to a point that Abraham Lincoln's widow would give a gift to Frederick Douglass. Sir, I am Frederick Douglass. I know who you are, Mr. Douglass. Sit down. I'm glad to see you. Not only are you seeing it with your eyes, you're hearing it with your ears. You feel the reverberation of the theater, reactions to each character. That brings these characters to life. To hear how much they're willing to tell the truth to each other. It would be the tardy hesitating, vacillating policy of the President of the United States. I do not believe that this government can permanently endure half free and half slave. As soon as you say historical figures 150 years ago, that, that places a distance, and I wanted something that would bring it and make it contemporary and make the emotion of the piece visceral to the younger people in the audience. But if you choose to live a life of love, then even through the inevitability of death, nothing you love ever leaves you. You evolve and in it you rise. I hope that they are so inspired to want to challenge themselves and start the process of, you know, inspiring somebody else. And then, if we decide to rise and fall together, we can begin that great walk to respect. It's the memories that make me weep, the words that make me cry, the pain that just runs so deep because I can't find the words to utter goodbye.